have you met the other dudes, the other bands? Uh, a couple of them. But today's the first day, so, you know. Fair enough. Trent? getting all sorted. You close yeah, he's down there playing basketball right now. <laughs> My God! I'm watching Fleer you play good on it. And lifting weights. Him and Fleer are having a game of one-on-one -on -one right now. Who do you think will win? Boy, Trent. Dude, Trent, come on, man. Trent, um, yeah. He's got the height. He's got the dark side on his... On his That's true. <laughs> I didn't hear that your mum latched onto someone in Nine Inch Nails. That's right. My mother was talking to Nine Inch Nails for some time. Hard Inch Nails. Hard Inch Nails. Hard Inch Nails. Those boys from Hard Inch Nails are very nice. Hard Inch Nails, they're lovely toys, aren't they? <laughs> Two thousand was a big year for fans of industrial rock, with the presence of German group Atari Teenage Riot and U.S. heavyweights Nine Inch Nails. I've got the flu. I got jet lag. Glad to be here. Ready to ready to run. Although I wasn't scared of him, I actually found him completely funny. Uh, to as a fly on the wall was Trent Reznor. Uh, Trent was pretty funny. I wouldn't have approached him because he had these two big bouncers that followed him around everywhere. So if anyone ever came within cuey of him. You know, Trent, I really love you. Get out of my way, you fuck! You know, it's like these guys that do this business over him. And I, of course, dressed as Gene Simmons in Halloween parades and stuff, you know, as a kid. But, uh, wait, did I really just say that? Yeah, okay. Just put it there. How does Trent get away with smashing them without them? Oh, I think he's throwing things at the other band members, so they're dealing with the broken noses. And watching Nine Inch Nails after they finished their gig once at a big day out and had this massive show. And those guys are renowned for getting pumped up for their shows and they're really intense and you know, there's a very, it's a bit of darkness to their music and stuff and some really cool stuff that he's, he's written. After their show, they came back off stage. Everyone had to get out of the way, clear the way. Watch out. Nine Inch Nails are coming off stage. Get out of the f***ing way! And um, they went into their band room and they just decided to smash up all their, their band gear and all, no, well, their, their furniture and all their rider and all their cheese and they're smashing up crackers and bottles of... Maui and all that but they didn't realize that the big day out has garden furniture like from ikea and so it's all plastic so it's just bouncing back and hitting him in the head it's this stuff is indestructible they couldn't do it they thought they could smash band rooms up but not at the big day out in melbourne or melbourne or sydney you know, not big day out furniture